right, we are live. We are live. We are live. We are live. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Right? Let's see. Let me check this out. Like always, I gotta make sure. We are live. And we're not buffering. I have to make sure every night and then that we are live. Yes, we are. Oh, the tank is looking way better. Look at all those colors, guys. Nice. <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's going on? Trying to be faithful for you guys every night. Just here, feeding the fish, about to feed the corals. Ah. I was just checking out Reef Dude's live stream. I said, you know what? It's time before it gets too late. Because if it gets too late, then I will fall asleep again. And I'm beat, man. Today, today, I'm beat. What's happening? I wish I could see who peekaboo. <laughs> Let me move back a little. You guys get to enjoy everything. So, so, so. I told you guys yesterday I was going to bring a topic. Stop the... It really, really, really matters in a way. So, so new reefers don't fall for it because I did fall for it at the beginning. So we're gonna wait until a couple people come in. Maybe reef do finish over there and give me a chance. <laughs> And and we go for it with the topic. With the topic of look at all that beautifulness, man. Yeah, I clean them. I'm watching my, my fish in the TV, so I got a little bit late. I was watching when the rats was about to clean the the yellow can. Here we go. Got him up in the corner. So today is feeding day. Cor coral feeding day. I didn't feed yesterday, so I need to take me a little, a little push. More nutrients. So cause the corals are coloring up slowly. The color is creeping up on the corals. So I guess we got to feed a little more. Look at this too. Rass again, rass. It's crazy because sometimes this this torpedo looking rass, they don't get along that much, but the cleaner rass, they don't mind. Look at them. They don't mind the cleaner rass. I guess because the cleaner rass be cleaning them, so. Hey, stop it. No fighting in the tank. Behave, guys. You guys know I don't like that. You get punished for that. Quick, real quick. Real quick. <clears throat> so, where's my pipette? So, I received today the 
what I was waiting for. And let me tell you, I bought them because I needed them in the past. But this time, I didn't need them. But I said, you know what? Let me just buy a pack of five. And believe it or not, they came in handy today for my RO setup. I'm making water right now. I will show you guys later what I did. But I'm talking about this joint. Hard to see with no light. But it has this plastic uh, nut here that you could tie it up. You could use it for RO, um, for your RO line. You could use it for dosing. If you got some containers, then you need something where you want to connect the the tooling. So I want to see if I could come up with my old DIY containers. So these people, they think they sell in gold. Just plastic boxes for $100. When you go to Walmart and you get these food containers for $20 and they serve out the same purpose, but not, that's not the topic for tonight. See, since the quarry, my bro, what's going on, brother? Trying to bring a topic for tonight, man. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to wait for more people to come in. Right? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man. Finally, it's in a... In a happy place right now. Um, I I increased the the lights again, so they back to normal. That's why I, uh, around this time now I look a little lighter. Um, I usually run the Noopsy from one to six o'clock, but then later on at night w while I do the streams or or if I'm bored here, I just turn it on again. And, and let the light go through its own cycle. Because I, I have it on a Wi-Fi timer right now. So when I know the light is at the peak, that's when I let the Wi-Fi timer turn it on. And I don't use the timer from the light. So I don't know if eventually the light is going to get messed up by using it like that. But it lasts longer. It's in the SPS setting right now. So, but it's finally, yeah, it's finally, um, things are finally back to where they were before. You know, corals are hurt, but it is what it is. Now we just got to wait for them to heal back up. Well, I'm super, super happy. And my UV sterilizer is going to come soon. Um, the guy messaged me today. He said, yo, I haven't chipped it yet. He said, no, no rush, man. Uh, it was a, f a freebie. I, I mean, I know we win stuff and we want to get it right away, but I I'm in no rush. I'm in no rush. I got the green killing machine, the one they sell at Peco. It's working. Nah, well, I would say it's working good. For me to ask sand the other day and the diatoms I'm getting right now, it's not nothing crazy. I mean, you see the sand, it, it looks kind of like a light. They got a tent to it. That's the diatoms. But compare how we're a couple of days before I connected the UV. I had algae going on the glass and, and the, like dark spots on the sand. But that UV is doing its job. So plus the skimmer is working again. Um, everything is just running smooth now. So. But yeah, everything is happy, really colorful. Exactly, even though in the phone I got the lens, of course, to take the blues out. Um, this is exactly what you guys are seeing right now. It's exactly what I see without having the glasses on. So I'm in a happy place right now with the tank, man. My Monty cap stopped dying, so that's a good thing. This track right here in this corner, they're all good still. Nothing is dying. I don't see no more flesh receding. So that's a that's a super great thing to see it like that. So, but since I came today, everything seems to be like fluffy, happy, polyps out. 
you know, so I just hope they continue going that route. Again, I don't know if it's because I'm leaving the tank alone. I don't know if it's because that core booster. So it's many things that, that could be, you know, happening at this point. Um, the skimmer working again, the UV sterilizer on, a uh, new carbon on uh, in the tank. So it's a lot of things. Chimp! Welcome, my brother. Welcome. I'm going to try to hit you guys every night with a little stream, you know? <laughs> I was sleeping. I said, you know what? It's almost time. I was trying to go online, but I see Reef Do is on. I said, uh-oh. <laughs> I can't compete with that guy. He have uh, about 100 people in his stream right now in the chat. So I said, nope, I'm out. But I said, you know what? Let me start. <clears throat> if I don't start, he don't see it, and then he keep going. <laughs> but today, you know, feed the corals, do the usual. Um, I'm going to test out Kalinity again later. And, and I want to share uh, a topic tonight, you know, bring something, something different. Just in case people later on will, will watch it, you know, if if we only three, five people here, at least we get we can give our input for new reefers. Um, they're just getting in the hobby, and later on I will put a title on this on this live. So if people are interested, they can see what we talk about or whatever. It was a long day at work, and they beat your boy up again, and they planning to beat me up again tomorrow. Um, the new temps, two didn't show today. One left early for a little bit, came back two hours later. So, I don't know what's wrong with people. Since people started getting unemployment, they don't want to work. So... But I guess that's life. Let me move this over here a little. Cause I gotta get I gotta get in through there. Just give you guys uh, a different a different view. The only thing I hate is turning off this power head by hand, man. That that pisses me off all the time. One, I'm not pissed off. I'm always pissed off, right? I I see the tank so clean, and I'd be like, damn, I'm about to get the water dirty. But they need to eat. First thing first. Let me grab that coral booster. I don't know if it's... I haven't done no more research on this bottle, but I don't know if you could blend it with, with the food. I don't think it'd be a good idea. I don't even say nothing like that here, so... Better, better off not even try it. Then I kill the coral, shooting straight elements, minerals into them. Yeah, we don't want that. So I'm gonna start with this one today. And if, so one mil for 25 gallons of water. Every day or every two days. I'm doing it every day until I see the flesh of the corals that are hurt looking better. And then from there, I need a little more flow on the front of the tank. I mean, even though I see the purple stylo pilots moving, all right, that's all coral booster. Coral booster, the blue bottle. 
in the bluish bluish bottle. Okay. Okay, okay. So how you guys day went? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Oops, something fell. Everything good with your tanks, everything good, everything Gucci. Yeah, I got other good news, man. I think I saved another little tiny piece of the guard. I cut it the other day, and, and by today, it should have started to continue dying, but it stops. So I think I should do the same thing with the other one. And while I say it, since I said that now, let me frag that joint right now. It only takes a second. It's already on the plug. All I gotta do just cut the good piece and glue it back. Let me get the towel. <laughs> And my lawn tweezers. So I got in touch with these people from, they on Instagram. They got this nice White Rocks. The, I think that's the name of the company. White Rocks. They from Puerto Rico. So I'm trying to get them to sponsor me one rock. It's only cost $20, so I don't think they will mind to put it inside something beautiful like this. So... I mean, I know I could pay for it, but, you know, I'm trying to help them, too, promote their, their, their stuff. So, if I could get it for free, right, why not? And the price is decent. For the, for the one that I liked it, the price is, is decent. So, the guy sent me the rock. He asked me, oh, where are you from? I told her, so I'm from Connecticut. So let's see, man. Let's see. Oh, come on. Don't tangle yourself in the... He sends me... Because I want it for... I want a piece of rock for where the purple stylo and the green pastel of Poro is. Ah, oh, come on. This freaking glue is, oh, really? You gonna do me dirty like that? So yeah, so so I could get those 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 um corals of that rock and. Excuse me, and what you call it, and put on, on that new rock, and because that rock I wanted for something else, and the other one is it's a rock. Cause that rock I wanted for like a branch. The rock, if the guy sent me that rock, I want that rock because it's it sits it sits flat, and you could place one core after the other like a steps. So if they send that rock, I'll be more than happy. If not, I told them, I mean, if you, it, that's only if you guys can do it. If you guys can, then I'll buy it later on. I don't mind. Or I could play some of the new corals that I'm going to get. I'm still going forward with that. I want to back, back up from that because I deserve some new corals. <laughs> you know, I haven't bought corals in so long. I know I don't got the space for them, but I do have the space. Come on, guys. Don't say that. I do have the space. We gotta push the hermit crabs. Oh no, don't do that. Don't dare you to do that. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're gonna get glued to the Oh, you punk. Why do you guys think that's not a new plug, man? 
go that way, and you go that way. You know when you put a new a new plug in the in the tank, the hermit crabs run to it right away. If I would have let them get close, they're gonna get glued in, into the to the plug. Man, if I save those two frags, then I got three frags that I say. You guys still there, right? You guys can still hear me? I'm sorry. Because I, I don't... You know, the, in the TV, I can see movement, so... I'm just making sure. Okay, we good. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to, like last time, last time, <laughs> I mean, it's like right now, it's like I'm talking to myself, but I know you guys are watching, so I appreciate that a lot, man. And like I said, I'm trying to bring topics, man, topic that is interesting for other people, you know, us, we know better already, we know better than that, but I see, I see sometimes... Um, people coming through and asking, you know, no question is never how they say, oh, some people say, oh, I got to ask a dumb question. No, it's never a dumb question. But also you could tell by their question that they knew in the hobby. You know what I'm saying? So I was thinking through it yesterday. I said, you know what? Let me bring topics to people where they can relate to, and they, we hear this thing from the beginning, you know, when people say, oh, if you're going to get into reefing, um, go big, or, or, you know, like they say you need a bigger reef tank, but you can start with a small tank, and for me, that's a complete lie, you know, because all they want you to spend money, that's, that's all they want you to do. And I remember when I first wanted a reef tank, they say, oh, you better start with a bigger tank if you want to be in the hobby. And I said, oh, for real? How big? You can start with a 75. That was uh, pet smart. And you know what? They got me. They sent, they sell me that bundle. Boom, lights. A light that won't even grow a plant. That was the first thing they did. Um, they didn't explain nothing to me about sumps or nothing like that. Yeah. yeah. True, true. But, you know, for me, for me, it, like, yeah, you know, when we start small, we want to keep going big. So sometimes they, you know, you start big, so that way you don't want to keep going, or at least you comfortable and and with that size. But at the same time, just do research, man. When you do research, get that research on your head first, and and that knowledge. That way, are they calling me? Hold on, my bad. You know, like, if you do research at the beginning, I mean, nobody want to do research. My bad. Nobody want to do research. But once you learn this stuff, you know, if you would have done research from the beginning, you didn't have to spend that much money at the beginning. And now what I know back then when I first started, you know, a lot of this new equipment we got now, cheap, affordable, it wasn't around. So now we could spend less money and still get the same results that a lot of good reefers get with their tank. But I started big and everything went wrong. <laughs> I moved to a 27 gallons and everything was good. But what happened then, I was learning. I, I was getting more knowledge, so I knew what to do. I think that's, that's the difference. Is it good to go big? Why not? I wish I had a bigger tank. Mm. 
Yeah, look at that. Atkins, what's going on, man? Yeah, you know, you the one that will make it hard for yourself. You know what I'm saying? It all depends what you're trying to accomplish at the end. That's another thing. You know, if if you're into bigger fish, then you know you cannot go with a smaller tank. You got to go with a bigger tank. If you only want a pair of clowns or an anemone, um, couple of zoas and stuff like that, then that's easy. You can start with a small tank. As long as you get the salinity situation in check at first, that's, that's, I remember when I heard about salinity, oh man, did my brain fry. Oh, that you got to mix it first and, you know, this, this amount of, of salt, this amount of water, and and then when it evaporates, one to say when it evaporates, you gotta add fresh water. Forget it, forget it. I I I lost it completely. I said what? It ain't salt water. Why you gotta add fresh water? I want my brain went fry right away. But that happens when you don't have no knowledge, when you don't know exactly what you're getting yourself into, when you don't know that you keep salinity level with fresh water. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for for that's what I'm saying. It's all depend, you know, it's all depend the way you look at it. Um but I will never tell any a new reefer, you know, go buy a bigger tank. If they thinking about getting a fifty gallon, I'm not gonna say go buy on a hundred gallons because it's gonna be better for you. I will say just buy what where you gonna be comfortable with. Um you know, just explain the water change situation, uh, and and you know the basics, the basics. Now, if they want to jump to a bigger tank because they heard it somewhere else, then it's up to them. Me, I went from a seventy-five. No, I saw. Yeah, yeah. I first thought it was a seventy-five, and then I went down to a. To a 27, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, 75, then when I started, I, I, I stopped for like a year or two, then I started with a 55, went up to a 70, like, like fresh water, you know, with the plants, it, it's the same thing, and ever since I saw that tank, you know, and I believe it was a 40 gallon, if I'm not mistaken, ever since I saw that tank, I fell in love, I said, I, one day I want to have something like that. And trust me, lately, I've been looking at my Dragon Breath um, microalgae, and I've been thinking to put it in, in Dave Tank somewhere. Just find a spot where it's going to be happy, because where it's at right now, it's not getting that much flow. And I know that algae needs flow. So here and there, it gets better, and here they just kind of like recede a little bit. Shit, let me start feeding the corals. Um, yeah, man, I love it. I love it. I got a different one. It's red too, but it is more bulky than the dragon breath. Dragon breath, like the tip of the leaf is more pointy. And the other one I got more like, like lettuce, but it's, it's red also. So I don't know the name of that one, but I'm scared because in the, in the, in the nano or in the Dave tank, DNT tank, I have a tail spot blending, so I'm scared that he's gonna eat it. He's a grazer, so I don't know if only way to find out, right? Just putting a piece in there and see what happens. All right, let me shut down the power heads are off. Let me shut down the skimmer. Skimmer gotta go off for a while. Skimmers off. Yep, skimmers off. Let me disconnect this power head. My bad that I'm in the way. Am I? Oh, one light went off. 
No, not yet, but but, but I, I I do I do want one, man, so bad. Like the other day, I was thinking to sneak one in, a small one, something simple, and start messing with with the aquascape and and see what I could come up with. I'm dying to do it, man. I'm I'm dying to do it. I feel like my lights are leaning forward. No, no, they still in the spot. But yeah, man. Oh wow, I'm getting nice colors here, guys. Yo, let me show you this this coral. But I do, I do. Hello, Zul Seven. How you doing? Look at this one. Look at the colors on that one. Have some pink going on. Thank you, Susan. I can't wait for this one. I always, as you guys know, I always mention. Let me see. What's my finger? This one right here. That one is supposed to be burgundy. Oh, a beautiful burgundy. Yeah. Yeah, I, was, I can. I want to do it, man. Trust Trust, one day you will. I might surprise you guys. I don't know where with a fresh water tank probably already set up. <laughs> probably, who knows? Probably online right now, and I got one set up somewhere. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> I wish. I wish. But one day I will. I, I, I definitely will. Because it's, it's in my bucket list. Because I need to learn. I need to learn. I, I like... I could never keep a beta alive, so imagine. But that was before I, I started doing uh, salt water. I didn't do no research. Um, I was just in tap water, not doing no dechlorination on it. So I was being awful. But again, not knowing better, no research, no nothing, so. Now I know better. Now I know if I get a, a fresh water tank, I will treat it with, with love, you know? Come on, Papa. Color up. You're the one that I can wait to color up. So eat, 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 eat. Yo, I, th I think that bottle is working. I don't know if it's just me. But I think that bottle is working. Can't wait for my Jason Fox. Uh, what is it? Fox, Fox Flame? Acro? Color up really nice. When the blue lights come on, that's when you can really see the nice colors. I got to check where my nit nitrates are right now because I think this is where I got to keep them. And the phosphates too. You know what? I'm going to check the phosphates to keep the phosphate where, where they are right now. Oh, you punk. Don't bite me. But to tell you the truth, little guy, I miss it. You remind me of my female clown. I miss her so much. It was my fault that she passed. Oh, you too, both of ya? You think you're tough, boy? You think you're tough? Stop, bro. What's your problem? What 
What is your problem, homeboy? Be nice. I'm trying to feed your your friends here. And you biting me, bro. What's your problem? Alright, let me fit this one back here because this one earlier had the polyps. Oh stop, stop, stop. You wanna get spray with some aminos? Huh? You know the punk. Let me feed the zoas. Stop it, man. What is your problem today? What is your problem? Oh, this guy really has problems. He keep biting my hand. Alright, food is almost done. Let me throw a little bit. The Aikens, I'm not gonna feed the Aikens today. They could grab anything from the water column. Don't worry more about the SPS side of things, so. Just a little, just a little. Yes, a little. You see, I said I'm not gonna feed the Aiken, but here I am. Give him a little sign, sign. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some water to do some testing on nitrates. I need to see where they are. Cause even the Aiken colors, they showing better too. Alright, let's give a little bit to the DMT, to the flow, flow, flow. We're just gonna soak this in here, and that's good eating. And for the fish, no, this is too much. Well, they could eat it all. But you know what? I can feed some some brine shrimp to the aikens. I better eat fast. And that's how cool the camera is. My fault. Um, Susan, I feed uh, different types of powder foods. I got, I use refroids for the corals and coral frenzy. And, and for the fish, um, flakes. Omega, Omega one flakes, and what is the other one? I had brine shrimp, reef nutrition. Uh, no, San Francisco brine shrimp. <clears throat> copal pots, I do. Since the tank, the tank is full of copal pots, but like I will do one maybe once a year. If I catch a good bottle of the LFS, I'll, I'll buy one and just dump it in the refugium. But when when the algae starts showing in the glass, you can see the copal pots all over the place. They, poof, a lot. There's a lot in there. The tech, the test case I'm using right now, okay, so I use API. API is, it, one of the most reliable test kits out there and and the HANA checkers. So I always like to do different tests, meaning like get two different results to see if, if they both accurate. I can do the same test with the same equipment like with the HANA, but I like to use the API and kind of 
since one is the change of color and the other one is uh, numbers. So I like I like to see the the both both sides of the of the test. So now let me grab a little bit of water in this cup. Oops, oops, oops. A little bit of water to do some tests. The return pump came on. Let me turn it off one more time. Because corals need to eat. No problem, Susan. Let me move this over here. Why? I think I, I put the hot on the, the tank look big. There you go. <laughs> so this one here has been looking okay lately. So things are looking way better now that I put some stuff on the rock. It's a little messy still. But again, right now all I'm using this tank is just to grow stuff. Look at, look at this fish, Susan. I know you're familiar with this fish, but this is my favorite fish here. This is the little guy right here. That's my baby right there. Let me increase the light so you can see the colors better. There we go. That's my baby right there. This is one of the fish that made me fall in love with salt water. And I always say, I want to get one. I want to get one. And sadly, for me to learn how to keep them, I kill a couple. But I manage now to buy them from the store and get them to eat before. A lot of people say, don't get them. they hard to show them how to eat or train them how to eat um, frozen foods and stuff like that. But I found a, 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 a way that is definitely going to work. Oh, thank you, Rescue. That's my, my little guy. He's a rescue. I rescued that fish. He saw a goby. A mandarin goby or a dragon it. Um, a friend of mine, I had two before a pair, and for some strange reason in that tank, like, a fish was dying every month. I don't know if it was something in the tank and in the rocks um, killing the fish. Uh, I never found nothing. I still got the same rocks that I had on that tank, but fish kept dying and i know it wasn't ick i know it wasn't it, it was strange they were like they were good today and the next day boom like you don't like you don't know what happened so uh so after that i said you know what until i don't got because it was a small tank too so probably was due to stress they just got tired one day and say you know i'm i'm out and anyway, so after that, I said, you know what, when I get a bigger tank, then I get one again. And I never did. I never did. And a friend of mine called me and said, hey, listen, I bought a Mandarin Petco or All Pet Club. And my clownfish beat him up. He, that's why he said he's not moving. He's in one corner. And the clownfish keeps peeking at him, peeking at him. I said, then bring him. We try to save him. And when that fish came here. It has no fins because the clownfish was eating all the fins. And surely he was just in a corner, not moving, not doing nothing. So I told him, let me feed him and see if at least he pay attention to the food. Because in the tank, in my tank, I know nobody was going to bother him. So the minute I throw food in the tank, he grabbed one. And that's, that's my signal right there that I know exactly that he's going to survive. So, until this day, it's been 
I think since I got this one, it's been about six, seven months already since I got them. And he's kicking it. A little on the skinny side for, for the size of the fish right now. Uh, but it's sometimes I, I try, I'm trying to train him how to eat from the tank too. Because he has plenty of copal pots for him to be fat. But since I train him how to eat frozen food and pellets, sometimes he just wait. Um, whatever he picks from the rocks and stuff like that, I think he's beat it back out. He don't even eat it. So, but he, he's a cool fish, really peaceful. Don't bother no other fish for no reason whatsoever. Only the 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 dirt kind. If he see another one like him, if it's a female, um, he'd be okay. But if it's a male, they're going to fight to death. Kind of like betas. A really, really interesting, peaceful fish. So, <sighs> Look at this other guy here. <laughs> Look at that face. This is a, what is that? A blenny. It's got a funny face. It looked like the the cricket from Pinocchio. But beautiful colors too. Come on, give me your spotlight here, boy. Where you going? You hungry? You want some food? Alright, let's throw some some foot in here. There you go. There you go. Some more. One jump now. The screen tag is not on. Oh, he took it from you. That's a cool fish. It's an interesting fish. He he loves eating algae. Right, stop it. Don't jump. You know what? Let me put the screen top in this tank because the fish are acting up over here. This is a DIY mesh screen that I did. All right. Here. Oh, yeah, this is my system. They both connected together. Just in case you wonder. It's all the ATO and cables down there. This is my plant section or my algae section. I love it. You know what? I'm gonna take advantage now. I got a piece of the dragon breath. Dragon breath. That's a big word for me. All right, I put that there. Let me move you guys over here for a sec. Yeah, let me. I need a frat plug. Where well, I could get. Okay, I got one. I'm going to get this truck from here, and this is where I'm going to glue the algae. Hopefully, it don't come apart. It attaches to it. I want to give it a... Come on. No fall in there. Come with me. All right, where is the glue? I put the glue. Come on, I just frag something. Okay, it's right here. Yeah, you see me losing. Ah, oh, thank you. 
yeah, that's what I do every time I get off from work. I just come here and take a quick nap next to the tank, just hearing the water and watching the fish do their thing. It's really relaxing. So the fresh water. Sometimes I, I fall asleep watching videos. <laughs> I watch, I think I watch more fresh water videos than salt water. Because I want to learn. I want to learn. That's my goal. No, oh, okay, that's the pump again. One more time, we'll turn it off. That's another thing I do. Um, while I feed the corals, I leave the pump off for a while, maybe 30, 40 minutes. Let the, let the corals eat by the time the pump, because they, if, if you turn it on too fast, uh, they, they start throwing slime all over the place. And sometimes you start seeing spots in all the corals and that's probably irritation or they didn't like the, the chemicals from the other coral. So when I when I turn on the pump, you hardly see stuff in the in the water column or coming off the corals. All right, we got our algae frag right here. This is an algae frag. Yo, it's crazy. This little frag here, smaller than this, <laughs> for salt water. They be selling this for like twenty dollars or more. I think it's more for dragon breath frag. Let me see if I could shine a light to it. Uh, it's red. That's the color of it. But I'm doing a test right now. I want to see if no fish is going to eat it in the DNT. And if it's going to grow in the DNT. So I got to find a nice spot. There we go. Oops. Now I gotta glue this plug down. I'm gonna have to glue it. I'm gonna glue in a nice spot too. Watch. So I could get all the light and all the flow it needs. A lot of glue. Come on, a lot of glue. There we go. I'll show you guys in a minute what I'm doing. There we go. Hopefully it don't come apart or detach from the plug. Since I glue it and the algae is kind of slimy. Ah, <laughs> thank you. I'm not famous. I'm far from that. All right, take care, Susan. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. All right. So we finished feeding the corals. We finish. Um, let me show you guys the frag that I did of the algae. So you guys can see what it looks like. So that's a little piece. And if that one do good there, guess what? That one is going there. I just hope this guy don't eat it. This one, the color is coming back. I know I said that yesterday. So that's the frag that I was going earlier. This one I glued it yesterday and it stopped dying. So hopefully we're gonna have two more frags of the dry um garf. So that's another good thing. And we should be good, man. I gotta watch out with the with the nymph because I think the nymph 
want to move to this rock. If you can see right there, it's leaning already towards that one. And I don't want that to happen. All right, so let's continue here. All right, so I test, let me see, I did test this morning, right? I test my alkalinity this morning and it was at 8.1. It was low, still um, low. Um, we're gonna test again. I did add some, I did add a 30 mils of alkalinity and the liquid calcium reactor um, from Seachem. I added some of it, not much, but let's see how much it went up. That's what I want to check. How high my alkalinity went. I don't think it will be a lot. Hopefully not. Hopefully we didn't do a big jump, but I want to test phosphates and see where the nitrates are. I'm not going to do it with the Hannah checker nitrates and that one takes a little longer. And I know I was talking crap the other day saying, oh, I don't know why people complain, but I just want to have a little, uh, just kind of to see where they are. So I'm going to do the API today. Somebody want to take a drink of this? This is skimmer gunk. Oh, I'm pretty sure I would love it. I think I saw a picture of somebody this morning. It was gorgeous. I say I I, didn't, I couldn't even stare at that picture so long because it pissed me off right away. But it was gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I was beating myself up. All right, let me put this mesh screen top on the DNT because I don't want nobody to jump. Nobody, nobody to jump. I got another algae that I want to see if I can grow more of it in one of these tanks. But I need to find the right spot for it. All right, ready for some testing, testing, testing. This microphone don't wanna work, man. Right, first, we're gonna do alkalinity. Alkalinity, we're gonna do first alkalinity. I'm gonna grab some water from here. And we're gonna dump it in here. Look at that, I almost grabbed the, exactly the 10 mils I needed. I need one, two drops, just to get to that line. Skimmer poop, yep, that's exactly what it is. Skimmer poop. Oh, the other, Orphix lights are off, but we're still going to keep keep it moving. We, we're going to focus to the end of DNT. Let's let the, the fish start going to sleep. All right, let me give you guys a different, a different view, man. Oops, sorry. Oops, sorry. Oh, those lights are bright. I'm going to lower the light a little bit. Let me give you guys the nice size of the of the DNT. 8.0? No. It's not gonna be 8.0. You're crazy. That's too low. Where is the remote controller? Okay, it's right here. Let me give you some blue lights better in this tank. Uh more like it. 
Much better, right? Yep. Much better. What the heck is that? <laughs> I'm getting a notification in my phone that says cams girls in New Haven. What the heck? Stop it. Don't do that. All right. Phosphate checker, where are you? Right here. Then, da, 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 then. I'm going to see how much it went up. Right now, we can leave the. We can leave the. The return pump. Hmm, I like the way the lights went out. 8.0, reef Q says 8.0. Let me move this a little. Did I move too much? No, oh, that's perfect right there. Look at that euphelia going. So start practicing for the for the giveaway, man. So it was eight point one this morning. I added thirty mils and some of the liquid calcium reactor stuff. So do a guess. Do it now. Start practicing. Rifku set eight point zero. All right. So yeah, man. Like I was saying earlier, man. Um, the the in the minute I get more comfortable with with topics, you know, getting more info in my head about topics that we're gonna be talking about in the streams. Then we go for it, but today, like I said, I was trying to bring that topic of for new reefers. If it's better for them to go with a bigger tank than a smaller tank. So, all right, you say 8.4. Eh, you was close. Can you see the number? Nope. But I show you, look. I will show you the number 8.5. You was close. Very, very close, close. Now, I got to clean the stuff. Now we're going to do the phosphate. We're going to do the phosphate. And last time, phosphate was at, I think it was points, point oh four, point oh six, something like that. Today, we're going to. See where we at. Right, let me move this over here. Move that over there. I got a mess on top of here, man. When when I don't have a mess, I always have a mess. Let me throw this full here in this tank. Where are you, clown? Come on. In the last. All right, so that goes here. This goes there. Let me get one of these packages here. And the, the checker. All 
Where's the scissors? Scissors, scissors, scissors. Oh, the scissors are in the kitchen. Excuse me. They prefer me do. Where's my price? You didn't guess. You didn't get it right. It wasn't for the price tonight. The price is on Sunday. The price is for Sunday. some water and this is another 10 mils I gotta put it here and again I was almost close to the 10 mils mark two more drops there we go So, all right, you guys want to know what's my fast face today? Since I'll be feeding two days in a row and then I stop and then feed again. The clothes, I don't want to creep them up too fast. So that's why I'm doing it slow and then test. And see, in two weeks, I got to get, my test got to be consistent in the same nutrient should go up. Even though I got stuff to those nutrients and, and phosphates in the water. But I don't want to do that. I want to do it naturally with food. And then... If we gotta move to dosing nitrates and phosphate, then we do that when the time comes. Not now. All right, let me throw this powder in. And then we see where our phosphates are. Point six, and that's what I'm thinking too. That's exactly what I'm thinking too. Point six. I think that's what we're gonna get. Point six. I've been wondering a lot if if I could buy something from a refugium that I could dose the plants in the refugium or the algae in the refugium. Some, um, how can I say it? Fertilize or something. You guys don't know about plants, um, Atkins, if you're still here. Or anybody that knows about saltwater algae. You think I could put fertilizer? <sighs> My plants. I think I, I can do that. All right, now we gotta wait three minutes until this test reads the phosphate content. And we're gonna wait. 
Just patiently, we're gonna wait. While we wait, we start cleaning the mess. Um, all I gotta grab is five more mills. We could put this away down here. We could put the glue. Your flashlight here. All right. So, in the meantime, all right, let me do the, the nitrate one. I hate doing the nitrate one in the in the API test, man. The only reason why I hate it is because it be, it, it, it be spilling out of the bottle. So, it's five mils, let's do five mils. That's the only reason why I hate the nitrate API. Dump this water back in the reef, and it's all set. And then we're gonna, gonna cap this real quick. All right, 53 seconds for the test results. See what we get for for phosphates. Let's see, let's see, let's see phosphates. You know what? I'm gonna glue one of the frags of the garf right on top of the rock or two where the flow is hitting. Because the hermit crab keep knocking them out. That ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Read. Let's see what number we got. What? No way. This is impossible. I got pulling one phosphates. Holy cow. That's too low. But I don't got no algae in the tank. I must have done something wrong. That's crazy. All right, that means, you know what that means, right? The skimmer is gonna stay off. Um, my water is too clean right now. So I don't need to do no water change for now. I, I'm gonna do another test tomorrow again. Let's see where my phosphate is. The salifer. Yeah, the, the only one I tried from salifer. I did try one. I think it was the magnesium one. But yeah, I will try the salifer. I'm gonna get the stir tool, the, the little magnetic stir. Um, I got it on my cart in the Amazon cart, so I will get it on this week coming up or next week coming up, the week following, that's when I'm going to get it, because I got, I got compromised myself to do something this weekend with the money I'm getting, so phosphates are low. <laughs> You see, the only bad thing by having phosphates in your hand when you see stuff like this, and this is when, when numbers play tricks in your head, and, and, and if you don't think, 
take a step back, don't panic, okay? They 0.01, they still in range. It's 0 to 0 0.03 or whatever. But some people like to have more phosphates in the water. Of course, depending on the nitrates. Um, but I got phosphate that I could dose to the tank. If I was another reefer or an unexperienced reefer and get desperate, I will dose phosphates right away. But no, I'm just going to take a step back, test again tomorrow, see where it's at. If it's still low, then keep feeding, keep feeding, keep feeding heavy. Boom, 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 boom. Bring them up. I don't got no phosphate remover in the tank right now, so. Um, but I can I, I can tell something is happening with my phosphate because the algae in the refugium is kind of tight right now. It's not looking like thick. It's looking kind of thin. So it's time to heavy feed every day until we get our phosphate back up. So I'm going to continue feeding heavy every day. Um, I target feed today. Tomorrow I'm going to uh, broadcast feeds, uh, feed the tank. So and slowly bring them up. Nothing crazy. Same amount. So that way I see how fast they're going up. And don't go crazy. Alright. So. Yep. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to skip the nitrate right now. Because I'd rather do it. With the. With the HANA checker. Just to see if they really low too. Because even though. My phosphates are low. I think my nitrates are too. Because I don't see no algae growing. In the glass. I don't see no algae growing on the glass. I don't see. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. So. What we got to do is that make sure the phosphates are where they are. And we go from there. Y'all, trust me. When the lights of the tank go off, I don't want them to go off. I want them to keep going, keep going so I can keep looking at it. I could easily pause the video here and turn on the, you know what? Let's see if, if I don't knock the signal. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Uh, let's see something here. Let's see if. Yeah, hey, we're back. So now you guys, Dito, I'm bothering the fish over there again. <laughs> We're going to be mad, but I got to turn on the flow on that tank, too. So I hope no fish went inside the power head. Let's go the plug. Flow is on. Now we get to enjoy the reef for a little longer until my phone starts dying. Let's take a bigger view. Let's take this view. Much better. But I'm going to dose. The only thing I'm going to dose right now is alkalinity. So you guys about to see my head for a little bit. So I won't mind my head. Um, alkalinity. Because I want to bring it back up a little bit. 
Where's my cup for dosi? So I'm going to add this time, I'm going to add 40 mils. 40 mils of alkalinity going in. That's another thing I gotta get now that I mention it on the magnesium test kit because I, I don't know where my magnesium is. But the good thing, guys, everything is happy right now. <laughs> you don't mind seeing my head. I don't mind showing myself either. That's another thing, but sometimes we don't want to see people. We want to see the actual tank. And that's what I try to give you guys the most for you guys get to enjoy a reef, a reef tank, not my face, ugly face. So... Yep. Let me cover the bottom so that light don't bother you guys. Um, do I gotta do anything on there right now? Nope. So let me put the door in. Hold on, did I put? No, I didn't put the door on there. There. All right, much better. Much better. I feel like my lights went off today a bit earlier than yesterday. One thing I got, I, I definitely got to do that gurgling noise you guys hear. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Um, it's because I could quiet down right now, but that's me lowering uh, my pump. But the, the reason why it's making a noise is because the, the smaller tank is only one drain. I don't have a, like an air silencer thing. I could kind of do a DIY something for it to make it quieter. But it's going to be hard. Actually, yeah, because it's, it's down in the sump. Okay, for a second, let me go check my R water. Um, I still got you guys in my ear. I just gotta check, dump this poo poo, skimmer poo poo. Oh, it's just, it just smells nasty. 
smells super nasty. Water here. So all that nasty stuff comes out. the camera yes what up what's going on what's going on just chilling here man was filling the corals um growing some frags trying to still save that garf i managed to save two pieces so hopefully since I stopped dying, so hopefully that one, they're gonna come back around. I'm here looking at the tank, just checking calls from the top, top view in the tank, in the DMT. I mean, where the trusty glasses, Billy Pike glasses. Okay, okay. I see beautiful colors here. Oh, I found a spot for that frag. Found the perfect spot for that frag. Let's see if I can st stick this thing in there. It's a nice. Nice spot for it. Yep, it's in place. So I'm working on a project. I'm always working on stuff, man. So I'm working on a project that's gonna be nice. I'm gonna be creating some reef rocks. Um, made out of cer ceramic because I'm doing a lot of a lot of research on it in. And some people use ceramic. I mean, we use, I got tiles in there made out of ceramic where I grew frags on that, where I glue those frags right now. That's how they feel. They feel like ceramic. So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty, pretty sure that I can make them out of ceramic. Oh, my lights is off. Now let's go this way now. So, that's what we're going to be doing, man. You know what? Let me turn on the other light. Give me one second, guys. We got battery, too. No, it looked better the other way, right? All right, let's go back. One more effect. Oh. Here we go. We are back. Okay. Okay, we're back. My bad. So now we can see something. Let me let me clean the lens real quick. So I think does it look better? It's just too blue. Hmm. 
Oh, oh well. If I do this, that's more like it. That's the glasses over the, the lens. But you see all the orange? It looks super bright. I take this off. It goes back to normal. This is the time of the day that I love the most because I just come to the tank and just watch these beautiful colors. God is amazing, man. God is amazing, all this beautifulness with plants and not only plants, you know, with, with everything, with everything in life, just with life itself. Just with life itself. Let me take a quick skate. I'm checking my mailbox today. I gotta check the mailbox. I'm back. Let's take a little, little break. Checking the mailbox. Yeah, right. So yeah, so this is what I do at night, man. So checking the corals. Making sure everything is looking healthy. I see the colors coming back. That pink one, though. Oof, that pink one is looking pretty right now. Like, that's a nice, nice color. That's the acro that has taken the longest to start branching out. So I just hope. That I don't do no all the dumb thing on the tank. The I end up killing that one, but the one that got brown is coloring up nicely. Yo yo yo! I'm just amazed how how kind of fast the tank got back on track. Uh, you wish you could have it every night in your place. You could have one. One day you will have one. Oh, sorry. I'm 
You guys see that pink one behind the digi? Oh my god, that giant's looking pretty, man. When that one got sold to me, got sold to me, I saw, I think it was a, a rainbow, maybe, I think it was. But nowadays, everybody calls everything rainbow, so. Look at this guy. I was thinking to sell the R2s and get two R3s so I can have R3s over the tank only because the R3 put put out some nice blue man it's more that deep blue the R2s is more like a tuna or like a aqua blue don't get me wrong I, I like both I need to get more Gorgonians. I want to get a couple more pieces of Gorgonians. Where I'm going to put them? Don't ask me where. I will find a place for them. But I want more different Gorgonians. Different style. I want the, the, I want the one that is straight. Like, a, it's just one stick in the middle and then just go to the sides. Cause the one I got just go everywhere, which I like a lot. I have the Bucci one right here growing another branch. Look at this size of the reef. Hard to see like like that, but. The bushy one right there, that one's growing a branch right now. <laughs> Man, you know what? You know what? You know what? I think I could upgrade the tank to a 75. <laughs> nah. Because then I mean I gotta get more lights. I got a 75. I gotta get more lights. I don't want to do that right now. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Look at us now, taking center stage. I got one that I think is laying eggs. It being in the corner all day. Get a 90? Yeah, that's, that's the plan. That's the plan. Like, for real, for real, I gotta disconnect the system from the DNT. It had the DNT in its own filtration. I know it's gonna be more work for me, but I think it's the best thing to do. Mm. 
that way that big rock that I got there I could put in the sump. But I'm gonna start making reef rocks. Watch, <laughs> watch. It's not a joke. I just gotta get some clay right now to make shapes, and and make, use the clay as as uh my cast. That's that's my plans right now. I'm gonna keep messing around until I find a way to make reef rocks. Watch. And you see, you see the shape that I'm gonna come out with. I'm gonna do some crazy stuff. Watch. That's why I wanted to work with um, Dream Aquascape because I wanna know the formula. Anyway. I mean, not only for that, I love doing this, so. But once I get, I, I get to see how they do it, then I can start my own. That's one of my goals. You know how to make reef rocks. Lightweight too, nothing so heavy like because it's it's not hard man. That's how hard can it be to make some crazy shapes? <laughs> you know? You just gotta get the right materials and start making them. That's it. They gotta be interesting pieces, you know, something that people wanna buy. You don't wanna make stuff that people is gonna they, then you're gonna sit on it, you know. I don't want that. I hear People making it from cement. Oh, oh, I could get that Portland cement. Um, not Portland cement. That Marco cement. And start with that. I bet. <laughs> I bet, man. Ah. Shut up. But if I ever do a business, right? If I ever do a business in reefing, other than selling a couple frags here and there, and the t-shirts I want to do is a couple things I want to do. I want to do the t-shirts, of course. Um, have a frag tank that I can make, or I can make money from, sell frags from it. And the couple DIY that I had done, like the fish trap with the mirror, uh, get the stuff to make them. Um, that's another thing I want to sell and, and reef rocks is something that I, <clears throat> that always intriguing me, the shapes and stuff that you can make. That's another thing I want to do. And once I do that, man, it's all good and dandy. Watch, watch. You know, the, the, like I said, some corals that I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up getting rid of. That's, that's for a fact. And if I stay with one or two, it's gonna be like the mold that I'm gonna stay with those type of corals.
but the rest is just stuff that I could use to make money. My branching hammer. I'm gonna probably cut a couple heads out of there to make frags. So I can have a couple frags for you, for anybody. The one I got with purple tips is growing nice. I know. I know that, that I know that's a fact. And, and trust, trust, even though it look right now impossible, one day I will have that team behind my back. One day. For now, all I got right now is me and my fish and my corals. But one day I will. I knew so I was forgetting something. I gotta connect that power head. I gotta take a trip to New York. Don't mind me, I'm quiet here, but I'm just staring at the corals. Look at how beautiful they look. Alright. <clears throat> from from what casino? You talking about bar? From Foxwoods or what's the other one? Foxwoods and all, I forgot the other one there. Oh, Mohegan. I think about 45 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. I think so, about 45 minutes. Probably, well, it depends how fast I drive. 
Like, yeah, about an hour top. Twenty G. Oh no, when you're loading. Oh, it's buffering. Can you guys hear me? No way. Shit. No, we are back. We are back. We are back. My bad. I went away for a minute, so maybe we're gonna lose signal sometime. Oh yeah, I mean, at what time are you going over there? <clears throat> No, yeah, I'll send you the address if anything, pa. But if it, if it is easier to meet somewhere, I'd rather do it like that because I don't trust this freaking mailbox here, man. I trust. I uh, I was like a soldier waiting on the on the or three, man, because. Or either they, either my mesh screen last time maybe got lost because I received everything after that. But I just, if you send it through the mail, I just need a tracking number so I know when to be here or how my, my, one of the kids here waiting on it. <laughs> hey man, the bet is nothing bad getting one, so don't worry about it. That's where the magic happens. So you keep her happy. Next time the tank will come. <laughs> Yo, and, and like like I always tell you guys, man. Like I always tell you guys. Once my corals grow to a decent size, and if you guys want any, any ones that I got, just let me know which one you want. I will frag them, and all you gotta do is you pay for the chipping. You don't gotta pay nothing else. I ain't gonna be, like I say, I know who to sell corals to. And, but you guys are always here giving me support, showing love, man. I don't mind. Even this channel goes crazy one day and people keep subscribing for me, just being nice to other people. If, you know, if, if, People push me to do it a business, which I doubt it. Because if I do a business out of the hobby, it's going to be different things. Not only corals, corals is not going to be my main focus. I'd rather do aquascapes, um, the t shirts, uh, the fish trap. What do I have done? This has been a good invention. Uh, my veggie clips. <clears throat> so, for my veggie clips, I got one here at hand. Don't mind this one, because this one, I did some, this is one of the first ones I did. But it just, just like the ones they sell, the two little fishies one. 
Same thing, all made out of plastic. But this is the one that I, I was selling them for a dollar when they sold the stuff for five dollars online. If you buy it online, you gotta pay like two and some change plus five dollar shipping <laughs> for a veggie clip. The only thing I gotta fix on on these is the the net, this cage here, and eliminate these things. But if I put a veggie in here. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to put one just as a demonstration so you can see the fish are not scared to it. Um, but my veggie clips work, man. Ah, nice. Yeah, bro. You know, like I said, I always, sometimes you're going to see me doing different things. Sometimes I'm just here just chilling with you guys, you know, I, I love the hobby and sharing anything, I mean, last week was the perfect one, you know, just a regular live stream, after the live stream ended, everything went hell over here, so, like, you never know what can you expect, chess, nice, Yeah, we need more people in the hobby actually showing stuff and just chilling, man. Not not try to be so robotic with, with this stuff, you know. I understand some people do it because they're already sponsored by all the people. Um, because the way they were making videos at the beginning and now all they do is just uh, product review and... And stuff like that, which is not bad, you know. It's not that I got something against that. But sometimes sometimes we need answers right away. Like right in there, you know. Wow, I think I grabbed I think I grabbed a big cheat or veggie. I'm gonna put that much. Come on, Hector. Oh, by the way, that's my real name, Hector, or Omar. Not that people care, but Calypso's, Calypso's comes. I used to make reggaeton back in early 2000s. And I kept using the name for a lot of things. So, veggie in section. So, you see, I did some, op and that's, like I said, I need to get a bigger holes on net thingy, a match. And look, he knows already. <laughs> I mean, I always put it over here on this side. So, don't be scared, Papa. It's for you. You don't need to be scared. There you go. Look. He's not even scared of my hand. Watch. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Papa. That's your food. So that's the reason why I opened the holes. Even though they were able to eat it between the little holes. But. Since he, that's when he was smaller, when he started getting bigger, of course, his mouth or his peak is going to get bigger. So I needed to open them a little bit. In case you wonder what I use, Ocean Nutrition.
But yeah, um, Kenny, definitely I will send you once we finish here. We're going to go probably 20, 25 more minutes. So we could do two hours and 30 minutes. And then I send you that the address. And I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it a lot. Like you say, you're going to save me some money. I can hold on on, on the noopsie for now. Um, I don't, I think what happened with my other air prime with the, with the first one, cause for some reason I couldn't get it to like all the setting guys all, all messed up, but I forgot that the primes, this, uh, it, uh, after a while, maybe a year or so it goes, the settings go off. You gotta set everything back up. You gotta set the the country, the time, the date. So when I set the when I put the the, the HD, yo, it was set up to two thousand. So it was way back. Yeah, John, we 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 close. You say you was in what Merida, Waterbury, something like that. I'm here in New Haven. If I'm not mistaken, you you was the one that said you was close here. You let me know, bro. If you want some zoos, I got a lot. That's that's the only thing I could give you for now. I mean, oh, that's right. You almost saving. So you even closer. <laughs> so we probably know each other. I used to be a barber in the hill. Hector, Calypso, Omar, what else? So we close by, brother. And I work in West Haven. <laughs> I work in in Woodland. Woodland Power Products by by the post office. I'm going up the university. So anytime, brother, anytime. But I know, I know. Uh, one day someone was here in the stream that it was from from Waterbury, or or Medellin, and something like that. So cool. I I I I hardly find um, reefers around here. I met one through Offer Up, but it's from Medivin. He sells corals. Uh, great guy, Danny. I don't know if you ever met him before. Um, who else? Well, of course, uh, Sire Fish and Coral, Bob. Then I met two others, but those, uh, one quit the hobby. And the other one, I don't mind. Like I say, I don't mind giving giving stuff for free, but don't only come around when you want free stuff. You know what I'm saying? That that makes you look bad in a way. And even though this guy, I ain't, you know, I don't want to talk bad about him, but he kept doing the same thing over and over. And now. If you want to do it like that, come around when you only want free stuff. You gotta show me that you're keeping this stuff alive. You're not gonna, you're not gonna be killing it. And and this guy, all oh, he was doing, just killing stuff, man, and, and that was pissing me off. 
So I helped him. I fixed his tank. I helped him. I gave him a sump. Uh, try to guide him the right the right way, and he never. The diffusers, um, you could bring them. I mean, you could send it if you want. I don't mind, pa, to to give it a try to see if it cut the little disco effect a little bit and keep the light a little bit more more spread. Um, but yeah, man, this guy, you know, like I say, I mean, he gave me free stuff. Like I got a leather coil from him. The Mandarin, he was the one who gave it to me, but he gave me those corals because he didn't have no choice. Because he kept them there, like the fish, and he kept them, it was gonna die. And and the leather coral, um, it was like, oh, I think like a grain of sand, how small it was. And you go here, you can have that. You know, like, nine, like, oh, I got you something, you know? And I gave him rocks full of zoas. I gave him, well, I didn't get even fish. I gave him a flame angel. I gave him a, a that's how I met him, matter of fact, through offer up, because I posted a by color blending for free. <laughs> but like I say, you know, I don't want to just, but it just made it look bad and, and and that part started bothering me not because he was coming only for free stuff it was bothering me because he wasn't keeping it alive and he wasn't learning and supposedly he's been a reefer for a long time and he still do manual i mean i i don't knock that out like people doing manual evaporation adding the our water but when I ask you what's the temperature in your tank and you don't even know, that's not that's not right. Well, he came to me one day, oh the flame angel died, this other fish died, this died. I asked him, What's your temperature? But they didn't know. Why um what light scale are you running? They didn't know. So you're not doing nothing. What's your salinity? They didn't know. What's your pH? They didn't know. So, no wonder. Probably your pH is is either too high or super too low. Your salinity is probably super crazy. What do you mean you was to mention? But yeah, you know, it's sad. It's sad. So when you think you could, you could find somebody that you could uh, at least, you know, can ask everybody. I've been doing this a long time. So a lot of these corals I have them for, from a long time. And sometimes you meet people that they can't have nothing or buy nice size big pieces. You know, I know what this ho hobby all about when it comes to frags. You know, you go buy a frag of Zoas, you're only going to get two, three heads for $20, $40. You know, I'm going to give you a freaking full colony with 20 plus heads for nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, because I know how fast they grow. All right, let me put my ear pods in the thing because they dying so you're gonna hear a change in my voice maybe are we good i think we good but like i say anytime brother anytime i'm here it says 2011 yeah yeah, bro, like any time is the time that you're in. Any help I could give you, anything I could, that you need to use, whatever, if I got it, you can use. I don't mind, man. I don't mind. I like 
to treat people the same way I get treated, you know? Like, part of my system, my skimmer, my reactor was given to me. I didn't pay a dime money. Not even in chipping. The guy didn't even let me. I said, yo, but let me know how much is the chipping I pay for. It. Nope. One day, boom, show up in, in, in my door. Um, the lights, the lights I did bought, bought them from him and for a good price, you know. Basically, while you pay for one, he sent me two. So, <clears throat> that's why I would say my, my tank is sponsored by, by Dramedy. Cause that's the guy, man. He sent me a, he broke his tank. Like, he was basically just stopping the hobby for a little bit. Um, I don't remember. It was some personal reasons. And the coral that he had left in the tank, he put on a box and sent them to me. He went through hell just to send me that box. And everything didn't make it, but some did. And those coral I still have. This one that you're looking at here, he gave it to me. That's one of them. Came from Drama D. And look, I got another frag over here. That's how fast it grows. You remember? Nah. The Pavona. Well, this one also came from him. And I got another one in the back over there. He gave me this nice, um, what was a, a jawbreaker, man, that didn't make it. It was, it was beautiful, beautiful jawbreaker. And his tank, they were multiplying like crazy. And if it wasn't a, a jawbreaker, it was something close. It was an expensive mushroom. But when he sent me all those corals, I didn't have the knowledge and the patience I got right now. Anytime, bro. Anytime. I always say, if I if I have enough, you will have it too. Okay, this shit get, gets expensive, you know. It gets expensive, and thank God, uh, I I guess around the with, with good people, you know, they always look out, and and I appreciate that psst, from my heart, bro, because. You know, you see people, they paying the money and then they come to you and give it to you for free, you know? And you be like, wow, for real? And, and when I get treated like that, I feel like treating people the same way, you know? My boy here, Straight Reefer, he gave me a freaking bounce mushroom. And, you're, and, and me, you know, a little desperate for a light, I traded for a light and I regret it. He gave me a sunken bounce mushroom, a $300 freaking mushroom, and I traded for a $250 light. When I thought about it, and not only I didn't only gave the light, uh, the mushroom, I gave two Aiken colonies because I wanted the light so bad. But, you know, it, that's, that's how we do it. You know, when we want something, we just do anything to get it. But he also gave me, Straight Reefer gave me this stack right here, the purple one. I don't know if you guys can see it, good. it's kind of a little hard to see right there, but right on the middle right there. So... Oh wow, since 2008, nice. Where are you from, 20G? I know we all from all over the place. Yeah, yeah, definitely, and, and, and I agree, I agree with that too, you know, um, 
but sometimes you get across with, with people with good heart, man. People with good heart, you know. I mean, if, if you want something that you really want for yourself, of course, you know, work for it. But for, from really try to avoid it in this hobby, you, you get to know people that, that got super good hearts, man. And they, they help. They help with something that you really want. And and at the moment you can get it, and you, you get surprised. Like, uh, I was never thought that I was going to get or have one of those bounce mushrooms. And this guy came from New York and boom, there you go. And then look what I did. <laughs> Traded for, like, I was mad at myself. When I thought about it later on, a couple weeks later, I said, what the heck did I do? Then, for my luck, oh my God, for my luck, I go to a reshop and I see the guy there that I traded the, the, the bounce for the light. And, and I tell him, yo, you don't remember me? Oh, uh, where did I know you from? I'm the guy that got the light from you. And I ask him, how the mushroom doing? Say yeah, it's splitting like crazy. I got like four right now. <laughs> crazy. No, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you because I'm the same way. <laughs> I'm the same way. Like, I'm the type of guy, when somebody put a price to something, I'm not those type that, oh, I got this much. Nah. That's how much you want? Okay. You know, like, because, cause, you know, we know, we know how it is. Like I said, man, there's it's so many things I want to do and get done, and 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 I want to cheer with you guys, man, because I know I can do it. The the rock making and all that. I'm I, like in my head, I got so many plans. So I can be so creative, doing many things. One day I will show you guys my my t-shirts. I haven't make one yet because I haven't found the right person to make them with or the right company to make them with. But it's nothing like you've seen before. It's not a, a reefing shirt like you've seen before. When you see them, you're like, whoa. Hopefully nobody get the idea from me in all time soon. If I find the right people, it's going to be, and I'm going to make them with good clothing, with good cotton shirts, not nothing cheap. So many things, so many things you can do in this, in this hobby. I'm always looking, you see me looking through, through the internet. And trying to see what all the things I can create myself. Like I always say, I need a, 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 a box of nails, a hammer, a handsaw, and I build your house with it. That's it. Not nothing electric. I will do everything by hand. <laughs> saying it because I want to go through with it I know I'm, I know the guy's gonna hook me up so some more beauties I told
told him, don't even send me a picture. Because last time he was, tr- he, he was trying to sell me some stuff. And he was sending picture left and right. And videos. This time I want to be surprised. I want to... You know, because right now, if, if once I get built all the sticks, look, I got this bubblegum digi that I can get to somebody. Excuse me. David just won. What's going on? This other red one here, I could give it to somebody. I got like three frags of these, the uh, frost skin that I could get to somebody. I got that frag there that I could get to somebody. What else I got that I could get to somebody? If the main colony of this one makes it, once that one grows a little bigger, because I won't get nobody something like that, because it's too small. It's not even the size. Yeah, it's kind of the size of this now right here. Um, but that's supposedly another rainbow mini. So I could get to somebody if the other two frags of the Garth makes it, I could get to somebody. Um, I won't mind giving this one away since I got this one here and I got another frag in the DNT. So there's plenty of stuff I could give to somebody to start something nice. The only thing I will never, 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 never until I figure the way of fragging them is the A cans. That's the only thing I know. I seen people do it, um, but I want to do it myself. So. I know, of course, I'm gonna get one table saw, the ones they use for corals, to be able to do those. I know it could happen, and I know eventually it will. Actually, it will. My Duncans. I gotta frag my Duncans. Especially the, the little heads in the bottom that is getting shaded by the big ones. That joint is huge, too. That's another. I got a lot of, a lot of coral that I can give away, man. That I can help somebody really nice. But that's once I get those frags. Let me see. The first one say me, 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 me. There you go. thing I'm gonna do with these corals right if if the guys that I reach out to sponsor me the rock that I want that they got that I, that I liked it this corals probably is the one that I'm gonna move so it's gonna be the purple stylo then following is gonna be this one and then after the lower part of the rock is gonna be the plate monty it's kind of the same shape of that rock, so I don't know why I want to do that, but um, once I do that, I, I want to let all those corals grow to the point until that plate in Monty don't touch the glass, I won't start fragging it and cutting back on it. So anything there is where it's at right now, that's where it's going to stay until it grows and I got to frag it. Unless they start touching each other. I know definitely these two are touching each other already. And they touching the Monty Cat. But they stinging each other. It's not like they killing each other that bad. 
they just fighting for space more than anything. All right, guys. So we're about to hit the two hours and 30 minutes. I want to continue going, trust me. I will leave my lights on all night. Keep going, keep going, just keep rambling. But your boy got to work tomorrow. So, like always, thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit. And we do this again, maybe tomorrow. If not tomorrow, the next day. And we continue with this life, hanging out a little bit. You guys going to continue seeing the same thing, man. Me feeding the tank and rambling. All right, so I hope I don't get you guys bored. At least I, you guys get to see something. All right, guys, so thank you so much for coming through. Everybody have a blessed night. And I see you guys in the next one. See you guys. Have a good night.